wants to be king! Welcome back to the War Room. In my last video, I talked about the upcoming food shortages and the, the plan that the real puppet masters in this world have for not just those of us in America, but for the whole planet. Since I live in the United States, I'm really specifically talking to my brothers and sisters in America. You know, I, th I thought it was almost comical watching and listening to all the talking heads on the news and all of the useful idiots on social media praising and repeating this narrative of the brave Ukrainian men who so boldly took up arms, kissed their wives and children as they got on the buses to Exville and they stayed to fight the Rus. Now, I don't know how much of that story is true. I don't know. I don't, I don't really, honestly, I don't really give a fuck. It's not that I don't care about those people, but I believe that that situation is way past our concern and our involvement is strictly, it's for profit. It's all about money. If there was no money, if there was no extortion, then we wouldn't care. But as always, the crooks and criminals that run run this thing, the people that have been called upon to be leaders have seen fit to sell our country out, sell us all out, lie to us. It's, it's, it's pretty disgusting. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to draw a contrast between what people celebrated and watching those, those brave young boys and men who so boldly took up arms against a much superior force versus what we have in America today and what we would see if that very thing or when that very thing happens here. You know, we've got a, a false sense of greatness in this country. At one point, maybe America was great, but we have fallen so far away from that greatness. We've become weak. We've become just a sick remnant of what we used to be like a like the shell of an insect that finds its way into a spider's web all the all the substance of what america was has been sucked out and just it's gone it's gone you look at you look at where we're at today what we're normalizing today what we're celebrating today the founding fathers the people who the people who really suffered to make this country great would, they would roll over in their graves if they saw what their descendants were doing, the country that they fought for, that they lost their lives for. You know, there's three things, there's three things that kept people out of this country, aside from the Aside from the armaments that the American people have, there were three things that made America unfuckwithable. And that was our family, that was our religion, our belief in God, and our patriotism. Stalin knew that the United States couldn't be touched because of those things. That cohesiveness, no matter what, no matter what other problems we had, those fundamental, those fundamental foundational things were, they made America great. They made America a solid superpower. And ironically or poetically, however you see it, those three things have been dissolved to nothing. As a matter of fact, if you believe in God, if you believe in family, if you are an old school patriot person, if you're if if an old school patriot who believes in America, who believes in the constitution, you are no longer seen as good. Those, those fundamental things have been stripped away and the new ideology is all of those things are bad. All of what once made us great now is evil, patriarchal, and all of the stupid talking points that the stupid people regurgitate. And because those things have been destroyed, that's why America's being and 
been destroyed. They destroyed our families, they destroyed our women, they destroyed our men, and now they're destroying our children, trying to serve them up for people with mental disorders. They're trying to normalize this, this sickness in the name of equity, inclusion, and acceptance. And again, ironically or poetically, the only thing that'll possibly save us for what is inevitable in the future is a return to God, a return to family, and a return to the belief of the constitution of this country. And if you're a crybaby, you'll do your trained monkey routine and cry and spew your talking points about how much of a victim you are and all that, and that's fine, you can be a victim. But I wanted to give you this message, victim. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. Keep those same divisions in your heart and soul when it's time for you to lean on those people that today you castigate because you're too weak to deal with what you are, with what you've chosen to be in this life. And for those of you on the other side, we have all fallen, we have all fallen for the beautiful things that the real ruler of this system of things has provided to us. In America, we have, we have indeed become Sodom and Gomorrah. The only thing that can possibly, I don't think that we can be saved, but perhaps we can be helped. The three things that we need to cultivate in this time is a return to our love and our dependence on God family and community and this country's constitution, the thing that set us apart from every other nation at one point in time. Those are the things that matter the most. Those are the things that are, matter the most more than any other movement, more than any other thing. God, family, country. If we don't get back to that real soon, this ride's gonna be a lot bumpier than it's already set to be. The choice belongs to each and every one of us. Either we continue to play this game and pretend that the ship is not sinking, or we desperately try to find a way to plug some of these holes, right the ship, and save ourselves. Out.